all right, well, this is different. This is bigger than just burgers, pies, and fries. We actually have influence. And you don't see this too often with Black-owned, woman-owned businesses in America, right? Pinky Cole founded Slutty Vegan in Atlanta, Georgia during the summer of 2018. She leveraged social media giant Instagram to promote and fulfill orders via a mobile food truck. By the end of that year, the first Slutty Vegan restaurant location opened in Atlanta. The Slutty Vegan menu features plant-based food items. Healthier eating is not the only thing that I promote. I want to be very clear. I'm promoting everything that you consume. That's mind. That's body, that's spirit, that's the music that you listen to, that's the people that you connect with. Like that level of consumption is beyond just physical health. It's emotional health, it's spiritual health. Burgers and sandwiches with provocative names like the One Night Stand, Fussy Hussy, or the Super Slut are all on the menu. It's just a little bit of ghetto. It's just a little bit of fun. It's just a little bit of energy, but it's all sophisticated and it's professional and it's organized. So it's like an oxymoron. So you get the best of both worlds. Opening a vegan restaurant in the South where meatless dining is not as popular was a challenge Pinky was willing to tackle. We live in Atlanta with traditional comfort soul food is what everybody is eating. That's on everybody plate. So to be able to create something that people who are not vegan are not too familiar with, but like, okay, all right, I'm willing to try. I wanna see what the hype is about. That means that when I talk, people are listening. When the business is showing up, people are adapting to the business and they want more and they want more and they want more. With five current locations in Georgia and a location in Birmingham, Alabama, the restaurant continues to expand. Soon, celebrities and social media influencers were listening too. Slutty Vegan's Instagram page is full of famous fans. The popular eatery recently opened a location in Brooklyn, New York. A Harlem location is next on the horizon, proving this young entrepreneur can make it anywhere. I had a restaurant in Harlem before, um, and it had a grease fire, so everything was destroyed in that grease fire. So I literally lost everything. This is a full circle moment. I'm in the same community that gave me my first start at being a restaurant tour. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.